Hello teachers, I'm going to show you how to be creating tests in DMAC so that way you can start collecting data so that we can use for our students to know where they are from this point forward. First, go into DMAC, so just type in DMAC Solutions, click on it, then type in your username and password, sign in. Once you get to this page, go to the left hand column and click on TEAK score which is right here under local assessment. Once you click on TEAK score, you're going to go up to test key. Without clicking on it, click on new. If you just so happen to click on it, it's just going to ask you. So make sure that you hover over test key, click new. Then you should have a screen that says new test key. Click on the subject that you're going to be creating the test for. So for me, I'm going to do it for English Language Arts. Select the grade level. Test version. Start with 001. If there's already one for you, it should tell you by clicking on it. See, I already have a 001, so I'm going to start at the next number. 002. Click the approximate testing date. Language is English. Put the description. And I'm putting for 10 to inch mark because this is not one that's actually um, it's not one that I'm actually going to create is the wrong one. But for 10 bench mark, you can put like nine uh, weeks bench mark, etc. Whatever you want to call it. Then you put the passing standard. Do not put 70 as your passing standard. Please use the passing standards from Star. So if you search raw score conversion table, lead forward. Don't use a TEA one, it's too confusing, but leap forward, raw score conversion table, and then look in the grades. So mine is English 1, and I see that approaches grade level, which is passing, is 59%, and then meets grade level, 68%, and then masters, 88%. Write those numbers down. So for my passing standard, I said it was 59%. Go ahead and type that in. Now then down here, I want to know what's Masters. So I know Masters is 88, Meets is 68, Passing 59. Now you cl can click on this, but like I said, it's very confusing as opposed to this that already has all the information for you and color coded. Click on Save. Next, it's going to ask you for the content. It needs to know the content because of the teeks. So click on minus English language arts, then I go down to the grade level, English 1, and then save. So, so English language arts and reading, selected course, English 1. Then I go into the key. So you need to ask yourself, how many questions is this? So it's 14 questions. You click apply, then type in your responses. This will be from whatever test key you're using. Type in your responses, then put in the teaks. Okay, so all of your tests should have whatever teak it is. You can also do dull coding, so if you click on dull coding. If some of the questions have dull coding, that's where you can use your figure 19B, figure 19C questions, and add them in. Tell you know what areas the students still need help with. Then you click save. It's very important that you click save because if you forget to click save, then it will not let you print anything. It'll say you don't have anything in there. Okay, so once you hit save, you can look at the history of creating it. Editors. On the editors, right now you should be the only editor because you're the one working on it. However, Mr. Zamora and I would both like to be able to edit the test if necessary. So click on Lizette Paisley, Olfinell. So Lizette Paisley, Olfinell, and there's two for some reason. And then Gabriel Zamora, Olfinell. Make sure you click on both of them just in case because I'm not sure which one's which. Click the little arrow key to add selected users. Our name should be there. Then 
look at the schedule. Since we're not doing an online test, there's no reason to add anything here, so you don't need to add anything there. Then click paper, plain paper, and then hit approved, approved. Do you wish to continue? Press continue. Okay. Now that you have your test created, you have plain paper, which just means you don't have to print onto the red Scantron paper, although we do have it. Plain paper. And just in case you want to change the font size, you can go from 9.11 or 13. That's up to you. Then you hit close. Then you go back to test keys. There's a list. So here's my pretend benchmark. I'm going to click on it. Okay, everything looks good. Now I'm going to print. So go to test forms, then go click on your name, the grade level, search. Click on your name, and then here at the bottom, print plain paper forms. So you can just mark on the gray screen, so look for your test. So there's mine right there, not the point zero zero one, but the point zero zero two. That's the one I just made, it's my pretend benchmark. And then it'll have my students already added on there. See, so Ariel, Lisa, Jasmine, etc. Click on the print icon. The printer should pop up. Mine's taking a little bit. Make sure that two-sided is not clicked on so click on two-sided and then print and it'll have your all of your scantrons ready to go so print okay now if you don't already have a test that's created for you with the teaks then what you can do so if you already have your test with your teaks created with the test key, then you don't need to listen to this part. If you want to get test questions from the test bank on DMAC, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So go back to the local assessment. So you click on that little Rubik's Cube looking thing. Click on Tag. Click on Test. So then you click on New. Okay, so put your test name, so mine's a pretend benchmark 2. You can add any directions that you want for your student. Then you can look it up by SE, which is T. So let's say that I have been uh, doing 9.5. Add. English one, so apply. Okay, so now we're just looking at English one tests. Now I, I made a mistake. Don't do it by 9.5. Just click the number. So is it like the fifth teak? Okay, so then this is the nine is not there, but it's 9.5. And you look, it's also dual coded to figure 19B. So it says, use the following passage from Anthem to answer the question. So then you say, okay, I'm going to add that question. Good. You can even look at the story. So 
So let's see what it takes you can look at, okay? So you want to look at the novel anthem. And that's what I do whenever I'm doing English. I just look at what passage is using so I don't have so many. Can I put add? Save my changes, yes. Okay. Then you can add some more questions. So let's say I've been doing a lot of 9.2, which is vocabulary. Click the little button to search. Okay, so uh, hunger for books. Let's, now that says 2017 star, which we're going to be issuing later. So I would wait before adding that in there. But here's another one. Emery's gift. Okay, I think I like that question. This excerpt can best be described as. Good. I'll type in Emery's gift here so I can use more questions from there. Make sure you can read that. Search. So here's a few more that I can add to see if they know it. There's some of that 9.5 again because that's what I'm testing. I'll click add. Save your changes. Now, I already know that I have two passages and that might be just enough for my students. I don't think they can handle more than two to three passages. So then I'll click save. Questions. There are the questions. There's a short answer. There's no questions from the story anthem. So there's my test. Click on key. There will be my key of my key, so I know it's going to have nine questions. Okay, go to teach code. So now you're just doing exactly what you did earlier. You put the grade, night, version, same thing. Passing standards. Save. Same exact thing. Clicking, save. See, now it has your teeps, questions already in there. Don't forget to add your editors. Mr. Z and myself add plain paper, approve, continue. So it's the same exact thing that we did to start off with. The only two differences is that the first version, I was telling you how to create a test, a key, if you already had the test, the answers, and the T. The second time that I was showing you what to do, it's if you were getting test bait questions from DMAC, which it has one for every single subject. So that's the way you create it. And if you have any questions, remember who your DMAC experts are. They can help you. And if they can't help you, then I certainly can. Thank you so much. And this is the end of my tutorial.